Hey guys, so today we are going to be chatting a little bit about the transition into university. Uh, this information is going to be important to you whether you're in middle school or high school right now. This will always be beneficial information that will help you later on down the line when you are going through this process of transitioning into university. So we're going to hop right in here. So first little thing we're going to chat about here is how to prepare. So obviously this process is going to be different for everyone and everyone's going to handle it differently and it's going to look different from one person to the next. So keep that in mind throughout this whole thing. But obviously starting habits and creating um, beneficial routines in middle school or high school, whatever age you are now, it's going to help you later on down the line. So things like time management and stress control and little things like that that may not seem too big right now are going to build up and eventually help you through this process whenever you go through it. Um, next level thing here is talking to current post-secondary students to get more of an insight on the reality of what really goes on through this process of transitioning. But um, it's obviously going to be beneficial if you have an older sibling or even a cousin or friend who has gone through this process before. And it's always nice hearing a little bit on the insight of someone who actually goes through it firsthand and kind of hearing more of a personal side of it. So that's always super helpful as well. Um, another thing of how to prepare is knowing exactly what you want um, in your post-secondary experience. So looking at the pathway that you're hoping of going down with um, different programs and facilities and kind of learning how to address that and prepare for that more specifically, whatever route you're hoping on taking. Um, yes, obviously, if you don't have the opportunity to learn from an old, older sibling or cousin or stuff like that, you can always talk to advisors early on. They will help you with um, courses and classes and different programs and things like that. So obviously, that's what they're there for. So utilize that opportunity if, if needed. Um, another thing of preparing is obviously lots of it seems quite physical. Um, time management and the workload and just that whole experience seems pretty crazy but obviously part of this prefer preparing is mental as well so you want to develop ways to keep up on your well-being and taking care of that mental side of things obviously handling stress time management so there's more to just what meets the eye in this situation but yeah little things on how to prepare Next thing here kind of goes hand in hand with preparing, but it's more so challenging yourself. So you want to start challenging yourself early on, whatever that means in high school or middle school, things like that. You want to get into the routine of this and pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, but you want to stay on schedule. Um, it's always beneficial to have actually a week planner right in front of you. Um, this is just an easy way to stay organized, um, kind of stick to what needs to get done, and yeah, kind of creating more goals that way. Um, being able to actively work towards those goals and kind of stay motivated that way. Obviously, this little picture here on the right, it's kind of the three, R, three R's of habit formation. So it always starts off with that reminder. So it's that initial trigger that's going to start it off, and then that'll lead to a routine and the action and the doing. And then that'll obviously lead on to the reward and the benefit that you gain from doing this. So that's just something to keep in mind to create these positive habits. Um, it may be hard, but just know that it will help you later on and it'll be very beneficial. So obviously you want to challenge yourself in many aspects, meeting new people, forming connections, getting yourself out there. Um, yeah, pushing yourself in your comfort zone and post-secondary college university is a very influential and fun experience. So kind of just make the most of it and have fun while doing this. So yeah, challenge yourself to do that. Next little topic here is about the main differences. So the main differences between high school or middle school and then university. So obviously the, the main thing that comes to mind is the size difference. So that means from the 25 people that you guys may have in your class now, that's eventually going to lead to 250 plus 250 people um, in these lecture halls and these theaters and universities. So that's a pretty big jump and that's obviously going to take some time to get used to, but that'll always be a fun transition. Um, the next little thing here is that some of the habits that you guys have now in middle school or high school may not pass when you get to university. They may not fly. Um, so yeah, you are 
completely in charge of yourself when you're in university. Um, professors are not going to be running after you saying, Cameron, your essay's due on Friday, like you should be halfway done, right? They're not going to be sticking on you that much. So you're completely in charge of yourself, and this may include some independent learning and scheduling for yourself, but university professors are not quite the same as your high school teachers or middle school teachers that you have now. So kind of keep that in the back of your mind as well and be aware of that. Um, another main difference here is that university does not consist of the normal 8.30 to 3.30 or 4 schedule. So in university, you may actually only have one class a day. So that's obviously a big difference, but just because you only have one class a day doesn't mean you just have free time to do nothing for the rest of the day. This kind of goes back to having that schedule, but if you're done your day at 10.30 in the morning, then you want to schedule in your study halls and your note taking and kind of fill out your week according. So that's kind of another big thing too. Um, so yeah, just because you have the afternoon off doesn't mean you have nothing to do, right? Kind of just plan your, use your time wisely. Um, and this goes back to habits, but you cannot get away procrastinating, procrastinating in university. You can't just push it to the last night or the night before the due date or things like that. So try to work on that little bad habit now and kind of get that under control. Um, next thing here, this is quite highly associated with the process and the transitioning into university, but moving away. Um, moving away is a huge learning curve for many people and you're kind of forced in a way to um, gain that sense of independence and responsibility and things like that. But obviously cooking, cleaning, laundry, that's all going to be on your own. It's all going to be focused on you. So you definitely take what you have for granted right now. And you come home after a long practice or a long day at school and you have dinner waiting for you at the table or whatnot. So kind of just keep that in mind that having all of that responsibility right on your back, you need to be more organized. So if you have class till 5.30 and then your next class is sit at six, you need supper in that time, right? So use your time and organize that time. Know to bring snacks or whatnot to kind of hold you over for that time. So lots of responsibility on this time and not just backing up on mom to have supper for, ready for you in between your classes, right? Um, obviously with moving away comes um, your living situation. So if you want to live in residence or that means in a dorm or on your own in an apartment with roommates, right? So whatever you're ready for on that aspect of things. And with moving away means making new friends, um, putting yourself back out there, forming new connections, kind of starting over, right? So it's a very weird situation, but kind of just hop in on that as soon as possible. Yeah. Next little thing here is kind of this overall learning curve. So that big step into university is your real first step towards adulthood. So you're gaining your responsibility and independence and you're having a sense of choice in all of these things, right? So it's a drastic change in life. Um, this was definitely a big shock to me knowing that I'm kind of in charge of all my classes and making these appointments with advisors. So it's kind of a little sense of reality and hit me a little bit. So just kind of be aware of this and be as prepared as you can, but you'll kind of understand this as you go and as you experience through it, but it's also, you'll learn about yourself through this time as well. So it's gonna be this level of self-development and gaining some more identity and discovering what you wanna do with your life and what you want in your future, being honest with yourself, understanding your strengths and your weaknesses, all of that good stuff. So you really do learn lots in this experience. So kind of just stay up for that. Next little thing here, probably one of the most important things to keep in mind is balance. Balance is key here and it needs to be prioritized 100%. Um, it's kind of one of my main suggestions for you guys to keep in mind is balancing everything in this university life, right? So like I said, this is all going to lead back to having that weekly planner. So if you have this weekly planner and you know what you need to get done in your week and you have all these free time, or these free open slots to hang out with your friends or to do study hall or whatnot there. So having that physical planner and what you need to get done in your week is super, super helpful. So I really stress and encourage you guys to kind of maybe even hop on that now and next September when you guys head back to school again to try to get that habit started would be super helpful. But obviously if we look at this little, little diagram picture that I drew out for you guys, it was kind of balancing your school life, your social life, and your individual. Individual. So your school is going to be your workload, making sure everything is ready for 
it's due dates and everything's ready for your week to get handed in and you're balancing that accordingly. Obviously your social life, making sure that you're maintaining your relationships with your friends and family, um, your communication, just kind of having fun and seeing your friends and hanging out kind of as well. And then obviously your individual aspect. So this is going to be making sure that you're putting yourself first, taking care of your well-being, taking a step back if needed and kind of just taking care of yourself really. Um, so this individual little aspect is something that tends to get forgotten about in many of first, second years, even in university. So kind of just keep a lookout for that and really stress to take care of yourself during this time. Um, but balance tends to be one of the number one issues um, through this transition into university. So kind of work your way into that, but yeah. Next little topic here is about extra help and resources. There is many, many available options and resources that are available through all post-secondary things like that. So colleges, universities are all going to have little courses like note-taking tips and courses and classes and mental health services. So I actually just got this image from the Brandon University website. And not only is there free pizza at 4 p.m., but there's obviously um, schedules and for these workshops that they have for the week. So things like activating your memory for studying and coping strategies for test anxiety. So obviously super beneficial topics that will help you through this process and they're there for a reason. So kind of just um, utilize those opportunities and take them to your full advantage. Um, things like that. So tutors are also available. That's a concern for you guys to help you through some of that stuff. There are programs, groups, clubs. This is also another way to get involved in your campus and your community within your school and to meet new people and to form connections and to kind of just take the most out of your university or your post-secondary experience and having those connections and meeting new faces and stuff like that. But yeah, lots of extra help and resources through that transition. Next little thing here is how to successfully transition with four easy steps. Um, these are my four easy steps that I would kind of recommend to you guys. Something that kind of just helped me through my time in university and still through my time. But um, number one, for sure, is staying motivated. Um, setting your little goals throughout the week even to work towards them, um, actively working towards them, hoping to see that light at the end of the tunnel, what you want at a university and kind of staying motivated in that sense. Um, if you don't have any goals or you're not motivated for anything, not much work will get done, nor will it be super fun, right? So staying on top and getting ahead of this stuff will help you. Number two is having a schedule. Uh, and sticking to it. Having that weekly planner right in front of you and knowing, okay, this is what I need to get done this week. Get ahead if you can, but finish all this. Staying on top of that. Not only is a schedule helpful for your classes and your studying, but it can also be good for your free time and seeing your friends and supper time and stuff like that, right? So that is always good. Third step here is to be organized. This kind of goes hand in hand with step two of having a schedule. But um, yeah, keeping your notes, your study sheets, having it all organized for every classes, cue cards, highlighters, whatever you need to stay organized, but it's going to help you in the long run. So I stress this to keep up with it as soon as you enter university or college or whatnot. My fourth step is save time for fun. University is a great opportunity in your life and experience. So kind of just make the most of it, take it all in, meet as many people as you can and have the most fun that you can really. Um, just kind of wrapping things up now. Um, this process is obviously a massive jump, let alone if you're being a student athlete on top of it, it's going to make everything a little bit more complicated and crazy, but obviously super fun as well. But it is okay to feel overwhelmed um, and confused at times. This is completely normal. I'm still obviously pretty unsure and not dead set plan and have a dead set plan on what I want to do leaving university and what I want to come out with. So. Not knowing what you want to do when you're older is a completely normal feeling and just knowing that there's people around you even on the campus that are feeling the same way as you and they're not even sure what they're there for and why they're taking this class and whatever right so just know that you're not alone and there's other people feeling this way but also be excited for this challenge i know it comes off super crazy and it's drastic change and this is going to happen and this is going to happen but starting a new chapter of your life is 
very exciting. So I don't want you guys to fear this, but embrace the challenge and just have the most fun with it, really. But yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for your attention and have a good rest of your long weekend and stay safe out there. Thanks, guys.